<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. What's that? Okay. I think I know. I think I know where you're going. But I'm not sure if there's any there. Well, she's getting uh, getting some marshmallows. Marshmallows. Uh, so this is hot chocolate, courtesy of. So this. Wait. Let's start over again. Okay. Uh, so th we have here hot chocolate for the fourth video Christmas uh, meal series. Careful, we got the camera, the microphone right there. So anyway, we're gonna be like, oh, that sounds so annoying. What are you guys doing? Um, let me do this. Yeah. That's so new. Hmm? I know. There we go. All right. Go on, do it, and then we'll keep talking. I want to talk, talk over it. Okay. Damn. Perfect. <laughs> All right, we have here hot chocolate from, from uh, as depicted in Polar Express. What the actual recipe itself is, the recipe that is from the Mount Vernon estate. So, George Washington would frequent this, this drink when he'd wake up in the mornings. And I definitely agree. That... <laughs> you think the marshmallows are good? Wait until you try that hot chocolate. Oh my goodness. So this, uh, I love history, student of history, especially American history. And I've uh, always had a passion for George Washington. So I think it's super cool to be able to, not only in this video series for Christmas, we're able to feature a recipe from Mount Vernon, something that George Washington would have had. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. So cool. Uh, so again, this is a, from the from Polar Express. We don't have a couple more ideas of uh, other videos to do in the future. I'm not sure if they're going to play out the way that this did, the way the Roast Beast video did, kind of like with the meatloaf and, of course, the elf pasta. Mm. What do you think, kiddo? Have you tried it yet? Nope. Oh, oh, I, I don't know if it will burn, burn my tongue. It is not hot. It's very warm. And you have to try it on camera and tell them how good it is. Wow. Won't burn my tongue? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Mm, that's good. That's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, again, I'll, I'll put the, the link in the description for this recipe. It is extremely rich. And hot. And a little hot still, but... um. This is this has been an absolute joy to, to do this video series. We're we're having a good time doing it. <laughs> Trying to crank these videos out in December. It's been it's been a lot of fun. So this again, this is uh, hot chocolate and Polar Express, and the only rule is to never ever let it cool. <laughs> Oof! I just, want, I, just want, I just want to start belting out in the song or something. Oh, it's so good. Oh. I tell you, while we're doing all these meals in December, I think January is going to have to be uh, 
whole bunch of fitness ideas for barbecue, if you, if you know what I mean. Like healthy, like healthier options. <clears throat> I choose winter. Winter? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> exactly. All right, everybody. I'm going to take this uh, cup of hot chocolate over to the fireplace. And that's not lit right now, but I'll pretend like it is. <clears throat> and uh, we'll, until next time, everybody. Again, so this, again, this being, of course, a Christmas video series, the fourth one now. I just want to wish you every, wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, <clears throat> as always, I want to wish everybody a, wish you all a very, wait, let's start over again. Okay. Why are you so far away? I don't know. <sighs> oh, couldn't Because the chair was here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. Stop me wrong. There you go. I know. So I just want to wish everybody uh, watching this video and out there in YouTube land a very special holiday season. Uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as always, here at Smoke Red Barbecue, we hope that. Keep drinking hot chocolate. Yeah. That's right. This this was completely inside, no outside at all. Kind of, kind of different. Kind of good. Kind of different for us. But hey, barbecue can be a verb as well as a noun. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Keep barbecue in America. <laughs> Let's <laughs> keep uh, cook for your family and uh, always have a reason for the season. Cheers. Mm, this is so good. Go go into food coma after this. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so not only did we use a recipe from Mount Vernon, was the chocolate used is from American Heritage chocolate so it is a is one of the oldest lines of chocolate that we have in america and potentially this is the the brand or the not the brand but the the the, the techniques they use in making it are more historic in nature so well the chocolate <clears throat> are more historic in nature so it's more historically accurate in terms of flavor and taste than than uh than what we have nowadays in like just the normal grocery store so not only is it uh the recipe for Mount Vernon, but it's probably what they would have used back then too. This is this is so good. It's like rich in chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do not want to know how many calories in, is in this thing. I don't oh. even know what calories are. The unit of energy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a lot of energy with this. Or take a big nap afterwards. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Thanks.